Hello, we are the students of Vishwakarma Institute of Technology. We are from Division J and our group ID is J8. The title of our presentation is The Battle for Bandwidth Bus Arbitration Techniques in Computer Architecture. Myself, Kauri Kokate, and my role number is 46. Here is the content of our presentation Introduction to Bus Arbitration Techniques, Centralized Bus Arbitration, Distributed Bus Arbitration. Priority based bus arbitration, comparison of bus arbitration techniques, and conclusion. Introduction of bus. Bus is a common pathway connecting two or more devices. A bus consists of a set of common lines, one for each bit of register through which binary information is transferred one at a time. Control signals determine which register is selected by the bus during particular register transfer. There are two lines in bus networking. First one is data and address line. Data, address, and complex command is given in this. Second one is control line. Signal request and acknowledgement is done, indicates what type of information on data. Now we will discuss bus master and bus slave. Master slave is a model of asymmetric communication or control where one device or process controls one or more devices or processes and serves as their communication hub. Here, controller is bus master and worker is bus slave. Bus master initiates request through control line, which is received by bus slave. Then, bus slave starts to transfer data through data line. Data can go either way. Introduction to bus arbitration techniques Bus arbitration is a technique used in computer organization and architecture to manage access to shared resources on a computer bus. The bus is a communication channel that connects different components of the computer such as the CPU, memory and input output devices. There are several bus arbitration techniques. This technique has its advantages and disadvantages depending on the specific requirements of the computer system. So there are three types of bus arbitration techniques. First is centralized bus arbitration. Second is distributed bus arbitration. And third is priority based bus arbitration. We will see these techniques further in the video one by one. Everyone, my name is Nakul Kohar, role number 42. In centralized bus arbitration, when a component needs to access the bus, it sends a request to the arbiter, which decides whether to grant or deny the request based on predefined sets of rules. The arbiter then notifies the requesting component whether the request was granted or denied. One advantage of centralized bus arbiter is that it is very simple to implement and can become efficient for small system. It becomes a bottleneck for larger system as all requests must go through the arbiter which slows down the system. Different types of centralized bus arbitration. So the first is daisy chaining method. It is a simple and cheaper method where all the bus masters use the same line for making bus request. The bus grant signal serially propagates through each masters until it encounters the first one that is requesting access to the bus. This master blocks the propagation of bus grant signal. Therefore, any other requesting module will not receive the grant signal and hence cannot access the bus. During any bus, the bus master may be any device, the processor or any DMA controller unit connected to the bus. Pooling or rotating priority method. In this, the controller is used to generate the address for the master. The number of address line requires depends on the number of masters connected in the system. The controller regenerates a sequence of master address when the requesting master recognizes its address. It activates the busy line and begins to use the bus. Fixed priority method. In this, each master has a separate pair of bus requests and the bus grants lines and each pair has a priority assigned to it. The built-in priority decoder within the controller selects the highest priority request and asserts the corresponding bus grant signal. Distributed bus arbitration In distributed bus arbitration, when a component wants to access the bus, it sends a request to the arbiter, which checks whether the bus is available or not. If the bus is available, the arbiter grants access to the component. If the bus is not available, the arbiter waits until the bus is free before granting access. One advantage of distributed arbitration is that it is more scalable than centralized arbitration technique as each component has its own arbiter and can make decision independently. However, it can also be more complex to implement and can lead to conflict if the components try to access the bus at the same time. Everyone, 
माई नेम इज़ अदिति कोहरे रोल नंबर फोर्टी थ्री सो द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ बस एर्बिट्रेशन टेक्निक इज प्रायरिटी बेस्ड बस एर्बिट्रेशन ईच कंपोनेंट दैट नीड्स टू एक्सेस द बस इज गिवन अ प्रायरिटी लेवल इन प्रायरिटी बेस्ड बस एर्बिट्रेशन द कंपोनेंट विद हाइएस्ट प्रायरिटी इज गिवन एक्सेस फर्स्ट वेन मेनी कंपोनेंट्स सैमल्टेनियसली रिक्वेस्ट एक्सेस टू द बस इफ मोर देन वन कंपोनेंट हैज द सेम प्रायरिटी एक्सेस इज एलोकेटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू ऑल्टरनेटिव एर्बिट्रेशन मैथड्स वन एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस टेक्निक इज दैट इट कैन बी वेरी फ्लेक्सीबल एंड कस्टमाइज टू मीट द स्पेसिफिक नीड्स ऑफ द सिस्टम हाव एवर वन डिसएडवाटेज इज दैट इट कैन बी मोर डिफिकल्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट एंड कैन कॉज कॉन्फ्लिक्स इफ प्रायरिटीज आर नॉट क्लियरली डिफाइंड हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज सुमित कोकने रोल नंबर फोर्टी फोर सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कंपेरिजन ऑफ बस एर्बिट्रेशन टेक्निक्स Each bus arbitration technique has its own advantages and disadvantages and the choice of technique depends on the specific requirements of the computer system centralized arbitration is simple to implement but can become a bottleneck for larger systems distributed arbitration is more scalable but can be more complex to implement so the priority based arbitration is flexible but can lead to conflicts if priorities are not properly defined thus in practice many computer system use a combination of these techniques to manage the access to the bus conclusion is that bus attribution is an important technique in computer organization and architecture that helps manage access to the shared resource on a computer bus second each with its own advantages and disadvantages the choice of technique depends on the specific requirements of the computer system third by the understanding the different bus attribution techniques and their trade offs computer architects and designers can make informed decisions about how to manage access to the bus and ensure to the reliable operation of the computer system Thank you everyone that is all for bus arbitration techniques